Hello, everyone. This is Raw One More One, and today we're going to be reviewing the After Metro F59 THX. So, I mean, everyone should see my streams and stuff. I've already seen this locomotive actually operate. Uh, my biggest complaint with this thing, I will say this directional headlight only works for this backlight. Which is, I don't know, like, who does that? There is no. Because, like, if I just back this up. Nothing. Oops. Like, I don't know if there was something that was supposed to be there, and then it. Because, like, there's the actual headlight. But then going to the back end. There's the headlight. But no, uh, marker lighting. But I mean, this is the type I wanted because I didn't want the stupid Cascades one. Because I think it's like white paint here, I believe. Wait, no, it wasn't white paint. It was like white paint around it, which was very stupid. And as everyone knows, these actually were Amtrak California at one point in their career, uh, don't have Nippon Shapiro's or well, I do have a gallery card, but uh, I need to work on that. But I mean, this thing is quite heavy. Like I mean, this this sucker has some weight. Another big complaint is I don't know if it's going. You can see the wires through the uh, thing. But yeah, I figure I actually had to get into it eventually, if, if and when it needs time for lubrication. Okay, so it looks like the rear coupler has to be, would have to be in. Uh, actually no, this looks like it just pops. Yeah, you can kind of do some of the spots, it looks like. So. I don't know how much of that because I was not paying attention to where my camera was, but I mean, yeah, nicer shirt. Like, see, the ca the front of it does look like an MP36, just to be frankly honest. Like, I kind of wish, this, I mean, having no in cab interior at this point is kind of unacceptable, especially for newer models. That's kind of was a cop out, I mean, especially when it's after and you, who usually does put in cabs and stuff. Other big complaint. So, I mean, yeah, this, this model definitely has some flaws, but, uh, yeah, actually, we're gonna do a coupler height test. The front's good, that's why I'm not gonna show the front. But, uh, it's just a bit high. Not by a lot, but, and, you know, just, just for comparison, into the front as well, I guess. And the front's right on. So, with that, I mean, overall, this Pokemon is a good one, but with that, I will put the back up with the coaches, or cars, whatever you want to call them. I don't know why I say coaches, that's more British terminology, but you know, who cares? And I can't, I'm not, the reason why I'm not full speeding it is uh, one of the cars is just. The coupler's getting really stiff, and I know which car it is. It's that one. But I mean, running wise, it's quieter than this thing, but I mean, this thing's kind of. I mean, eventually I just want to see what they do double heading. That would be an interesting one, let alone a triple header. Probably just. I don't know which one would do which, because the Kato one's kind of low. But anyways, with that, I thank you guys all for watching, and until next time, goodbye.